Hello and welcome to the Walking Talking Topic on Area and Perimeter, question number six with me, Mr. Barton. Now, I really, really like this question and these come up a fair bit. A gardener is making out the border of a flower bed, of course he is. The flower bed is in the shape of the sector AOB and the circle center O is shown below. The complete border is 28 meters long. Now, just be careful here. That is the complete border all the way round is 28 meters long. Calculate the size of AOB. Now, what is that? AOB. Well, that is that angle there, A to O to B. So that's what we're trying to find. I call it X or whatever you want. Right. How on earth are we going to do this? Well, if we know the complete border is 28 meters long and we know that that bit's 8.6 and that bit's 8.6, straight away we're going to be able to work out what this bit is. Because the complete border is 28, so we're going to get what this bit is here. So we're going to get 28 meters, we're going to take off our 8.6 and take off another 8.6. And that's going to give us that bit. So let's get that sorted first. 28. Take off 8.6, take off 8.6. And that's going to give me, press my little SD button, 10.8 centimeters. Okay. So I know I've got 10.8 centimeters now. Now, how's that going to help me? Well, this is where you've got to really switch on and know about your arc lengths that we talked about in question five. The arc length is just a certain portion of the circumference. What portion of the circumference is it? <laughs> well, it depends on the size of that angle. So your total circumference is just pi times your diameter. But if you want to, but that will give you an entire circle going all the way around. If you just want a portion of the circle, the portion of the circle you want is just going to be that angle out of 360 degrees. So I write it down like this. Now, some people just learn the formula. But I always think if you can uh, think of it like this, you have more chance of remembering it. So it's x or whatever over 360 times by pi times by your diameter. Pi times diameter gives you the total circumference. x over 360 gives you the portion of the circumference that you're interested in. Now the question is, how on earth does that help us? Well, it helps us in a massive way because we already know what the arc length is. We already know that's 10.8. We don't know what x is, but that's okay. Times by pi, well, we know what that is. That's just a number. Times by, well, now what's our diameter? Well, that's easy enough as well because this is just a radius. 8.6 is just a radius. So if my radius is equal to 8.6, my diameter must be equal to two lots of 8.6. And if you want to be certain that you're getting that right, because you don't want to make a mess at this stage, times that by 2, press your SD, and you're going to get 17.2. So 17.2. Now, that's all well and good, but can you simplify this to get the right answer? Because we need to get X out of this. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of my pi and my 17.2. And I'm going to do that by dividing by 17.2, lots of pi. So I'm going to get 10.8, and I'm going to divide this side by 17.2 lots of pi. Or you can write that as 17.2 times pi. It doesn't matter, but I treat pi just like I would algebra there. That's 17.2 lots of pi. So divide it by that, and that's going to leave me with x over 360 degrees. Okay, not too bad. Now I just want to get rid of my 360 degrees. So I'm going to times up by my 360 because it's dividing by x on that side. So I get x is equal to my 10.8 over 17.2 lots of pi and my whole thing times by 360. And if I can tap that into my calculator, hopefully I'm going to get it right. And a good way of checking here is just thinking roughly what you expect that to be. And if you're good at being kind of spatially aware, you'll get you, you'll be miles better at this than I am. But I'll tell you what, I'm certainly not expecting that to be bigger than 360, because then I'm, uh, I'm going to be bigger than a circle. And also, I'm just picturing the length of uh, that 8.6 and the arc length aren't that different. So I'm almost kind of messing around with my finger and thinking, how kind of far am I turning my thing, finger and my thumb around there? Is it going to be about 30 degrees, 40 degrees? It's certainly, I don't think, going to be more than, 50, uh, more than 90 degrees. So let's have a look anyway, what comes out. So can we tap it into our calculator? Well, let me get that in a nice position where you can see it. So I need a fraction. I need 10.8, and I need on the bottom 17.2. And as I say, you can put it as times by pi, or just put the pi next to it. It doesn't matter. Then I'm going to move to the right, and I'm going to put a times by 360 degrees. Press my equals, and it's come out 
as x equals 71.95 dot 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 degrees and I'm going to oh, I might as well round that to 70 well actually 71.528 yeah I'm going to go for 71.95 degrees to two decimal places and I think that looks a fairly sensible answer for the uh, for the angle that that is